going into the unusual pattern of contact. Now we're going into the activation protocol and the funny things that occur around us while the rest of the world thinks we have lost our mind. So I will read this to you because it amuses me that somebody in the 90s already had that knowledge. It's called ET one-on-one. -on -one. It's hilarious. Okay, talk about UFOs. Some people on this planet are certain that UFOs are currently visiting this place. Most people feel that is an absurd allegation of a marginal group whose members are basically nuts. The perception is backed by governmental agencies that swear UFOs do not exist and they have tons of proof and highly classified, classified information to prove it. The UFO advocates justly point out that no government needs secret files on something that doesn't exist. They find it equally absurd for governmental agencies to simultaneously refuse to release such files on the grounds that national security is at stake, even though UFOs do not exist. <laughs> <laughs> Most people haven't given this slight inconsistency any thought. Going along with the party line under the assumption that government wouldn't lie. The father knows best. Mission Control would like to put this matter to rest. The UFO faction is made up of what we call the nuts and bolts people. They are still intrigued with third dimensional phenomena and are consequently missing the boat while looking for the ships. Those who believe there's nothing to believe have been basically brainwashed by official officials discrediting of the uh, question and are equally off track. The governmental agencies are lying through their teeth and therefore most off base of all these factions. Third dimensional vehicles from other planets do of course exist. However, they are not the ships you should be preoccupied with. If an object can be identified as an unidentified flying object, it is not one of the craft that we control, nor is it a member of the Royal Celestial Air Force fleet that is the right arm of this mission. So the book is basically explaining they are royal crafts and they are not so royal crafts. They are low dimensional crafts with a lot of impressive technology such as cloaking, you know, um, invisibility, still earthly matter. Same thing, let's put this cow mutilation thing also to rest. Cut up animals are performed by probably like breakaway civilizations, lower dimensionals, high dimensional ETs do not require when trying to expand consciousness, assisting a planet to look for cows, to mutilate and I don't know, remove organs. It just simply just go 5,000 years into the future. What's the purpose? There is no purpose. Henceforth, the cow and animal mutilation is not really so ET related rather than lower dimensional related. Just so you know. So get that myth out of your head. There's no green man coming but laser. There's a sophisticated craft with cloaking technologies and lasers that laser <laughs> you know, it's it's evil, it's not beneficial, it doesn't educate anybody. Don't be preoccupied with these weird harvests because they're nonsensical, they're useless, they don't educate anybody and has nothing to do with the royal fleet being here and presenting themselves. So there's a difference between a royal craft and a military or uh, that are particularly bad greys which are disappearing now craft. So notice this if a craft lands and leaves burn marks and radiation and destroys the fauna and flora of what is around you as in nothing grows everything is bad for 20 years down the line bad craft you see a craft metallic um and it gives you the creeps and you feel like really like more than panic it's like your life threatened bad craft the Royal Fleet, henceforth. The Royal Intergalactic Federation. Some of us are in human form, yes, indeed. 
is leaving a footprint of life, an enhanced life form, as in the DNA of everything biologically in the circumference within miles was enhanced by, let's say an average of 32%, growth rate exponential, grass grows higher, greener, trees, everything. And the government is very, or was in the past, very busy to cut down all the grass, cut down all the trees, so there's no evidence. And where craft landed, many people do not look for the tree line in the cut trunk to prove exponential growth rate for the years. So henceforth, we are obligated to look into more in depth of the process of where is the positive, where is the negative. So the negative basically is destructive and the positive is interdimensional, it's translucent, you can look through it. It's uh, rarely um, physical in a sense, as in metallic, that you can view it and you can see the craft. So know the difference. The bad ones leave damage and people are really in panic and no good and people are being probed with scars that are unwanted and no consent was given and non-agreement was given. And the good ones, you actually gave agreement for hybridization, hybrid children, or even an egg being removed. And for those to have awareness, they know that. You do develop awareness also, you find aspects in other realms that are trapped. Um, a friend of mine told me that he went into the mystical state, for those who know what that is, and he found a dark room and he was sitting in a chair and he was um, kind of like trapped, but he freed himself and came back to himself. And I said, this is another aspect of yourself that you have freed to actually return to yourself. So this is what makes sense to that person. I was in a room where I was tied to some stairs in a weird way and I freed myself. So I realized that was an aspect of myself, whatever aspect that was that I freed. I went with a psychic to uh, planet Maldek and freed an aspect that was kind of caught in a basin before this planet blew up. So here's the thing. We wanted to talk about actually with this UFO and you know contact and your observation skills is this is the activation protocol that comes in in weird and wacky and wonky ways. For some people it's mushrooms, for some people it's ayahuasca, for some people it's in, in any form of natural and degradable medicinal aspect of you altering the state of mind. Um, reaching a level which ultimately is called the mystical state. And the Bible stated that uh, Jesus went into the desert for 40 days and 40 nights to talk with God. He didn't really talk with God. He, he basically made contact with his higher self, which is the purest version of yourself, which is Goma, Asduba, strength, wisdom, and, and beauty, which is what we call God. What ultimately that what you want to call God is the one, the source, basically where all the codes that come to this planet stem from. So that is based in a book uh, channeled uh, from the Ra Collective as in the Law of One. So pay attention there and study this and look in perspective to what this is saying and what you are resonating with. So I represent the, the Ra Collective. But my activation protocol is not like, you know, some people say like four weeks, you know, no, four years ago, I had this encounter and they said, I'm this and that, but when I woke up, that's the commercial aspect or for a couple of years or some calamity or some drama happens in your life and you have to change your entire life because you're being activated. I've been more or less active my entire life, which is a struggle. It doesn't make you a genius. It's not really... Um, I don't wish it upon nobody. You're too sensitive, you're too psychic, you have your intuition, uh, classmates from kinderga kindergarten to, I don't know, what do you have, ground school, middle school, college, and whatever you have, it is, it's, it's a disturbance that you don't function like the status quo and the consensus of the human race, as in the status quo, consensus, apollinistic, uh, expecting, uh, the return of a messiah at some point, patriarchal, controlled, brainwashed, societal program construct that runs this planet. Um, we are here with our awareness trying to dissolve that. As in many star seeds that have been activated, and I give you a few tidbits which are like funny, it's like I had Esasani walking with me all of my life. I almost fell out of my, the back of my mom's car when I was 
four. Dude pops up, sits next to me, and I'm trying to get the hell out of there. And my mom was on the highway and I'm in the door struggling, fighting, almost falling off, but she got protected. A guy with a truck was kind of shielding my mom and kind of uh, with the speed that he could, you know, hit the brakes in case something would hit, hit, hit or fall so cars wouldn't run into my mom. My mom uh, at some point realized that I was struggling, almost falling out the door, didn't see the being that I saw. Um, I did not have that in my mind to share that at the time because you can't see it. Uh, people can't see what I can see. How do I explain that? Especially you do that in the 70s. How do you, what does that look like? You look like a lunatic, especially when your family thinks, most of your family thinks um, you're nuts. You've lost your mind. You're seeing things that they can't perceive. I say experience is everything for the non-believers that watch this or are new newbies coming into this is um, go to Mount Shasta, go to Panther Meadows, hike up to the right of the path. And when it makes a turn, when you hit the hill, walk a little bit off trail and feel into it if you find it. There's a crossing as in a dimensional bridge where you will feel you're kind of like on the planet, but not really on the same planet. That's where people disappear planes disappear but it's not like they disappear like they, they they reappear they come back i had a friend that actually went in there and came back so begin to learn to explore the paranormal where it is available for you sedona hawaii uh in hawaii i think it was it must have been if i got that right Kauai kalalao is an interdimensional contact space the hike there is quite a journey you got to be prepared it's not an easy task but there are places on this earth where reality doesn't quite do what it does I've seen a very interesting documentary where people really seem to not get it. There is stuff going on that is mind blowing uh, about the Blind Frog Ranch in Utah, where they apparently take sand from an energy spot, they melt it, as in smelt it, and they pour it and it turns into metal. Meaning there's no metal in the silica based sand. And then when pouring, not I'm not talking trace minerals. I'm talking the thing turns to freaking steel, to metal, out of nowhere, like Ormus. You know, you pour two substances together and all of a sudden something appears that wasn't there before, like a fifth state of matter. So explain that to me. When you go to a regular landmass, pour sand into a smelter, you smelt it, it turns into a crystal, it turns into glass. But when you go to energy spots, sand can turn to metal. And that is physically, according to the law of physics, as Neil deGrasse points it, physics sets the rules. But when energies and parameters change, physics creates different rules. And that is what he has left out. So with all the education and all the left field, and he thinks people are chasing stars that going wonky and, and they're not craft, you know, you are so off track and you're so unenlightened and so basic that it's sad that some people don't have the experience or not willing to make that experience when that actually is fact. So I know for myself with growing up, being activated, I mean, I'm, I'll give you one of my activation protocols. I'm sitting in Berlin in my room. I'm in a mystical state. All of a sudden, it's like this visor appears in front of my face like a screen. And then I hear a scientific voice explaining to me that my soul is from Arcturus. Even though some gurus say if you define yourself where you're from, you're limiting yourself. But I think if you don't know where you're from to begin with, if you cannot trace the steps of your journey, you have no idea who you are. And I don't think when you backtrace cosmic knowledge, which I call total recall, and you do not understand that human species are here born in amnesia, then you're limiting yourself. So if I say I'm Arcturian, I do not think that I'm limited. Uh, when people say we are all star seeds, I've realized we are not all star seeds. There are some are star seeds. We're ultimately galactic. We wear uniforms. We go out, we go all crazy. And then there are those that are called earth seeds. They're with 
uh, 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 earth magic, earth elemental energy. They're all about earth. They don't like Star Trek, anything sci-fi, uh, sci everything out there is uncomfortable because it's not in, not in their soul development. And even when they pass on, they go into the light, reincarnate, having lessons to learn, returning to earth until the lesson of that program is fulfilled. The galactic ones, which are millions, millions of us, are aware that they are on spaceships or we wake up on spaceships we talk to our crew we we partially know what we look like if not ask a psychic what you look like some of us look like fairy creatures like i have elven ears i'm 10 or 12 foot tall um emerald green golden shimmering black eyes slanted i have uh, an elongated head I look different and then I learned through this activation protocol that every now and then they give you a glimpse but you must will it it remains dormant if you don't activate it so I learned within myself I have self uh, self aligning activation codes as an SAS self activative software that only kicks in when you uh, start asking the right questions or think in a right parameter, which is required for you to activate yourself. And when they activate you, you know, for some it's a psychedelic adventure. Not that I recommend this, stay within the legal confines of your country. Um, holy sacraments with, with a, a tribe are allowed. People know this. So do not worry. Everybody has their time in a way, as the states are all by governed galactic consciousness are releasing those modalities from uh, um, gadgets that can influence you to alter your mind to uh, regulated uh, chemistry that you can do that. And then you have to learn to train the shamanic state and that's for all of us. Some people will re re refuse the path and will probably think that they go crazy or that they save the world or they destroy the world. Do not go overboard with the messiah complex that is recommended stay humble you're part of a collective uh, i always make that joke if you have a google mail which is an account you are not google for those that don't know google is also not a search engine there's something much bigger behind that so pay attention to what you're doing what you're using and utilizing when you cruising through time and space so more for the activation protocol is this, you'll be activated, you'll be called. Like um, have we had a wave right now where the call is on where uh, tons of people are moving to Sedona. Certain systems are locked. They will be opened later on. Like the people feel the call uh, to move to Hawaii, but Hawaii is locked right now as in a galactic call. When the gates open, it'll be revealed, but now is not the time. So we have to be very, as star seeds, be very acute about where and how and when we travel in times of psychic turbulence. That's why we have assigned angelic nodal points and spots where you will be safe. Uh, your business will continue. Uh, you should uh, involve yourself in business, have an online store, open a store and deal with metaphysics. There is no other way. You can't be a plumber. You can't be a dentist or a lawyer or a doctor. That is not in your escrow. Sorry, mate. And if you are, other things will show up. Let's say um, telemarketers. This is what happened to me in Germany and how I got fired. And this is how calling comes in when you know you're being activated. I'm on call trying to sell people what they do not need, trying to manipulate them into saying yes. That already disgruntled me. I have to make money. I was three days on a job and I got fired. What happened is I ended up giving readings to people that felt bad and they kind of, their soul must have known this and they, they would ask me for readings and then I would read them and they were so thankful and there was a reason given to live life, to engage life, to get back into life, to get back in gear. And my supervisor observed that and said, you are in the wrong area. Why don't you become a reader or tarot cards, but uh, you're, you're actually missing the point here and you're fired. And I said, I'll gladly leave. I shall be on my way. And when I left, I think out of the, the 21 people that they had hired, I think like nine people were like, if Ra is leaving, I'm leaving. Uh, we can, we all can do something better. So that's part of the activation. It has an effect on you. It has an effect on others around you that will make the right decision as in the uh, divine decision but also you will lose friends 
when you begin speaking your truth and how you feel and telepathically how you receive the world, some people will be like, um, you know, I don't know what's wrong with you. Everything is wrong with you. And um, they will no longer hang out with you. That is normal. Let that go. Not for you. They must be, and I have to say this, denser. Some are brighter, some are denser. Meaning, if you have certain knowledge and you know certain mechanisms and why certain things are working, then you know. And if you don't know, you don't. Also, you don't know what you don't know. Experience, again, is the ultimate. So let it happen. So when in dream space, things happen that are mind-blowing, let them happen. So I've realized... I woke up on a ship, like, you know, in a movie Avatar, in a blue body with elven ears, way before that movie was released, confused me, and they were not talking, it was more telepathic, and history, and uh, things that I've read in books, they can confirm, not everything, there's protocol, what's confirmed, what's being released, also technology that's being released to Earth, they'll pick emissaries, as in certain conduits, that will be allowed to release certain technology going through them, and that's where a lot of investors will no longer control or own what they want, where they see the money as in the golden goose. It will ultimately fail because if in divinity, the conduit is not protected and uh, uh, the support doesn't come selfless without demanding, the conduit cannot channel in the higher dimensional frequencies, which actually result in do doings and stuff. Um, uh, check uh, Facebook keepers of the code. There are people that are animated really to bring forth code, animation, letters, galactic language. These are all now the scientific data that's coming back as we're being reactivated into our purpose as star seeds. It has to do with the activation protocol. And that is precise. There's no mistake. Uh, watch Mary Rodwell, the new human. Watch five-year-olds drawing schematics and formulas of how the universe works. I've seen one formula was like a 27-dimensional fold around a cube that we're in. Um, we can't even begin to fathom what 27th dimension means. And I'm not talking etheric. A lot of people get confused. Maybe 4D is the etheric realm, which is the realm of possibilities, which is also out of control with a lot of tricksters and demonic as an iconic negative air energy that is unmanifest and you don't want to manifest as Earth is ascending. This is all being wiped and cleared so this firewall of illusory fear will also disappear in the future. So some of us are galactic council. So I know I am Orion council. I'm one of them. I've received a letter through myself as a conduit from myself, from the future, like a vector timeline to myself, writing to myself in, in I think, Ashuriac Arabic. I've posted that in a video that's called Being a Hybrid. That's, uh, I will post some of the stuff in the next show where we'll talk about downloads in specific, in detail and illustrating what are we working on? What are we working with? What does that actually mean? Like instant knowledge, instantaneous knowing of things that take place and that occur for you to develop your mind and process what's coming in. So activation protocol can be any any day, let's say somebody has an accident, you almost broke your back or you fell out of a window, all of a sudden your life reappeared, life review, and you go, going, okay, the way I've lived, I'm completely off my center, I'm completely in the wrong direction, I need to change direction, I need to really, really find a path, more uh, common denominator, something that's more has more providence and is more prominent in the direction which I'm choosing to go. Also, the flow of information will be accelerated as it's coming in, as you see as I'm talking. When I'm streaming and accessing certain databases to relay to you messages that are coming in and that are being displayed. So certain faculties will contact you if you're in contact with that. If you're part of the ISIS collective, you will feel like you're ISIS or you feel like you're part of the priesthood of, of ISIS humbly speaking. Um, Hathor, part of the Hathorian collective. You feel the Hathor, so you have seen an image of an Hathor. You find it peculiar what they look like. They have ears of goats, but they're not animals. Higher dimensional beings. Uh, Mantidians from the Cassiopeian system, which a lot of incarnates landed in Ethiopia. Interestingly, also the queen of Ethiopia is Queen Cassiopeia, not by coincidence. Also know there was a king named King Adama and Queen Shiva. And Queen Shiva was Queen Shiva and further back it was Queen Eva. Same thing. We've lost the plot, we've lost history, we lost knowledge. All of these dots you will connect 
and put together from the Anunnakians, the landings, how many, how many of millions of years and millennia ago they came, the manipulation of the human race, the infiltration, hybridization, rock the nation, <laughs> you know, just have a little fun in between, is know yourself, know thyself, and let it happen. And the most craziest idea that comes in, I give you one, I wake up on a ship, I'm in a future timeline, I was told and also that confirmed by a psychic that I came from Arcturus with my ship and my crew, I'm the commander of that fleet, and we passed through the sun in order to come into the earth gate. So it's not you going from here to Arcturus. It's kind of like not possible dimensionally for where I'm from. I had to go through the sun gate and the sun gate only allows you when your gene codes are in order, when your trajectory, trajectory and the ability of uh, collecting and projecting and creating divine thought is in order, you pass through the gate. If you're a lizard of a lower dimensional nature, you will burn crisp or won't even try to go because you don't have the codes to access. This has to do with evolution and development that is governed by a higher council than the Galactic Council and the Galactic Federation, like the Councils of Light. If you watch Green Lantern, there's a council, higher dimensional beings, sentient beings that can have the size of an entire galaxy. So you can't even fathom the intelligence that's behind that, that is observing what will the choice of that race be? What will be development? What will be the development on, on that particular planet in that time? And they're even looking at the reptilians, okay? They don't have the ascension codes. They try to hybridize. They're trying to cheat the game, but they have to learn to sing the song of the heart. Being in harmony and feeling the heart frequency and the harmony that's coming from the center of your heart chakra. And that is for all the species to develop. That's why we have been hybridized. All of the genes that were in the outer galaxies, they, it, it's said that there are 33 races responsible for the hybridization and the governing and the mix of such to actually find a common gene code so all can ascend. In the end, all want to go home. That's where we originally from. If we had the knowledge right now, we would probably lose or leave our bodies instantaneously because we miss home. That's why we have been veiled. Memories have been blocked. Information has been shielded according to the development of your sacral or emotional body knowledge will be released. If you have an unstable emotional body, guess what? You won't know what galactic race you are from, what your home planet is, who your sister, brother, mother, fleet, or whatever you're working with, uh, whatever way station you're working on, you would have no idea. But this can be acquired if you want to go deeper and study the selves by finding the books, finding shows such as this one to explicitly explain why you hear what the mission protocol is and why you are here as in service. If you're first wave, second or third wave, Dolores Cannon, Convoluted Universe, please read if you do not know. Also get this book to get an understanding why you're here. Uh, some people even say you came here without a manual, you forgot who you were, halo gone, wings are gone. Wings meaning balance, brain state, brain oneness, and having the ability to be from a galactic or higher state. That's actually what the word angel means. It's not all etheric and mystical and shrouded in mysteries for nobody to know. Um, ETs were called spirits in Africa because, you know, not everybody could understand how can they just hop space and time, show up here, in, uh, infiltrate in part, uh, and influence. So yes, many ETs were here, are here, many agendas, always look at the agendas, but trust me, the good will prevail, the light will always shine, nobody can dim that. I mean, I find it preposterous that they say that this guy, Mr. Gates, is trying to darken the sky. You know, when the sunlight fails, we will be in trouble, which is evident. If uh, the ETs have shown that to us, nuclear power is not being shut down. It will be shut down. We're not in control. Maybe there will be another show how I'm explaining how these masters of the holographic universe are in full control of our reality. If they want, if they, if they want they are planning to be pink in a nanosecond, everything would be pink. They have full access and full control. It's not being misused. They're cautious with that because also karmic, cosmic, karmically and for your life, there are consequences for everything that you're doing. So be wise in the words that you choose, make peace with what you can and manifest in the divine and good. And so be it. Amun. And on that note, I'll see you most certainly on the flip side.